Hello everyone, I am Sami Sheri from aix marseille University and I'll be presenting our work entitled Combining Receipts and CHP using Restarts in SAT in collaboration with Jamel Abed and Cyril Terry. So our work evolves around the SAT problem which takes a formula in conjunctive normal form which is a conjunction of clauses and we are looking for an assignment of the variables which satisfies all the clauses and therefore the formula. So, as many of you know, modern SAT solvers include many components and techniques. Here we have a non-exhaustive list. So, we have, for example, unit propagation, closed learning, uh, we have branch heuristics and restarts, which help to avoid the heavy tail phenomena in SAT. In this work, we'll be focusing on branching heuristics and particularly on two well-known ones. The first one is the variable state independent decaying sum, or simply visits, which was introduced in 2001 and which has been the most dominant heuristic since uh, then. This heuristic maintains a score initialized to zero for each variable and it has two operations. The first one is the bump, in which the scores of the variables involved in the conflict are increased by one. Here involved can be interpreted in uh, many ways depending on the variant of the heuristic. So for example, it can mean the variables which appear in the learned clause or the variables which appear in the uh, analyzed clauses during conflict analysis, including the learned clause. Uh, the second operation is the decay, in which the variable scores are multiplied by a decay parameter in 0, 1. The second heuristic is the conflict history based heuristic uh, introduced in 2016. So it was recently introduced and shown competitive to visits. And practically all the SAT solvers that are presented to the uh, SAT competition uh, either rely on the variant of visits or CHP as a branch heuristic. So this heuristic also maintains a score for each variable, initialized to zero, and it updates the score of variables when they are uh, propagated using the uh, exponential recency weighted average, or ERWA, which was introduced in the context of the multi-arm advantage problem, which we will introduce next. So the uh, expression is as follows, we multiply the old score uh, by 1 minus alpha, where alpha is a parameter of the heuristic, uh, which we call the step parameter, by the way, and we add, it to, uh, we add to it alpha multiplied by the reward that we give to the variable x, and the reward is defined as follows, so we have multiplier divided by uh, conflicts minus last conflict of x plus 1. Here, conflicts means the total number of conflicts since the beginning. Last conflict of X is the current value of conflicts um, uh, when uh, X uh, is involved in the conflict. So it appears in the clauses which are uh, analyzed during the conflict. And multiplier can be uh, either 0 0.9 or 0 or 1, depending on whether the propagation of X led to a conflict or uh, not. Now let's talk about the multi arm bandit problem, which will come in handy when we we'll try to combine the heuristics that we presented before. So in MAP we have an agent or bandit which has to choose from a set of candidate arms, and the agent relies on information, uh, as we call them rewards, collected through different trials in order to choose the appropriate arm each time. Obviously, an a the agent is uh, confronted to a major dilemma, which is the exploitation versus the exploration. So when to use the best arm and when to use the underused arms. And for this, we, ha we have many strategies available. Here we have uh, some of them listed and we'll be focusing on upper confidence bound strategies since they have shown their interest in similar frameworks. So here we list some related work in which MAB was used in the context of uh, SAT. So for example, we have CHP, which we explained before, which relies on ERWA, uh, introduced in the context of MAB. We also have another work, uh, recent work, uh, in the context of parallel SAT solving. Uh, 
Whereas in CSP, we have a lot of studies and work in this uh, regard. So a map was used, for example, to choose the uh, level of consistency at each node. It was used to choose a heuristic at each node or at each restart. Uh, also to use a relevant parameter value for a heuristic and to perturbate heuristics uh, in uh, CSP. So there are a lot of works in CSP, whereas we lack uh, such studies in SAT. And we know that combining VSEEDS and CHP has shown a great promise since it was used in the uh, MapleComp Space Solver, which won the uh, 2016 SAT competition. But we still don't know what gains can uh, combining VSEEDS and SAT and CHP using different strategies uh, bring to SAT solving. We don't know how do they compare, uh, I mean, the different strategies to uh, the seeds and CHP as standalone heuristics. And we don't know how much they can improve the performance of top competitive solvers, for example, KISAT, which we'll be working on in this work. Uh, and our purpose is therefore to uh, provide an evaluation and comparative study of the different strategies to combine VSEEDS and CHP using restarts in SAT. So let's take a look at the strategies that we'll be considering in this work. The first one is the random strategy, RDR, in which we choose a heuristic among VSEEDS and CHP at random with equal probabilities at the beginning of each restart. Then we have uh, the static strategies. Uh, we uh, have the single switch strategy, SS, which was used by, in the first version of the MapperCon Space Solver. 2016, and in this strategy, we switch from VSEEDS to CHP after a set amount of time, usually the timeout divided by two. The second heuristic is uh, the round-robin heuristic, uh, RR, which is uh, used by the latest version of uh, MapleConsp S. In this heuristic, there is a round-robin uh, between VSEEDS and CHP, and actually the solver uh, allocated the uh, same amount of time to uh, each heuristic, whereas in this work, we uh, let the restart policy increase uh, naturally since we wanted strategies which were independent from the restart policy. And uh, last, we have the map strategies. Uh, we chose two UCB uh, upper confidence bound strategies uh, called UCB1 and MOS, which we will explain uh, next. So in order to explain these uh, strategies, we need to uh, introduce our map framework first. Uh, so we have VSEEDS and CHP as the set of candidate heuristics, and the map will choose a heuristic at each restart by relying, as we mentioned, on an upper confidence bound strategy. And one major component in every map framework is the reward function, which helps to evaluate the different arms throughout the trials. And here it will be uh, the, the different heuristics throughout the restarts. So if a heuristic is chosen uh, during the restart T or the run T, it will be evaluated as follows. Um, or rewarded as follows. We will give it as a reward log to the number of decisions in the run T divided by the number of variables fixed by branching in the run T. So obviously this uh, reward function favors the arms or the heuristics that reach conflicts quickly and efficiently. And it was actually adapted from the explored subtree major, which was introduced in the work of Papirizu and Wates in the context of CSP in 2020. Next, we present the two UCB strategies that we mentioned earlier. The first one is UCB1, introduced in 2002. So in the run T or restart T, the uh, UCB1 strategy chooses the heuristic which maximizes the following uh, expression, r hat t of a plus root square for ln t divided by nt of a. And here r hat t is the mean rewards obtained by the heuristic a in the t minus one previous runs. And nt of a denotes the number of times the heuristic uh, a was chose, chosen in the t minus one previous runs. So obviously, the uh, term on the left favors the arms which have the best rewards, so each 
uh, it's meant for um, exploitation and the term on the right favors the uh, exploration of underused arms. The second strategy is uh, the minimax optimal strategy in the stochastic case, or simply MOS, which was introduced in 2009. It's pretty similar to UCB1, uh, except the uh, right term, uh, in which uh, we have a K which appears. Here, K denotes the number of arms, uh, in which in our case is 2. So it's the main difference between UCB1 and uh, MOS, and in fact, in fact it it's what makes uh, MOS uh, theoretically uh, more efficient than uh, UCB1, and we will see that uh, in practice um, this is also the case. Next, let's have a look at the experimental evaluation. So, we considered the 1200 instances from the last three SAT competitions and races. We performed the tests on Dell Power Edge M620 servers with Intel Xeon server processors. We gave 5,000 second uh, timeout per instance, as is the case uh, in the SAT competitions. And uh, finally, we implemented and tested the strategies on the KISAT uh, solver, which is a re-implementation of the solver CADICAL in C, and which won the uh, 2020 SAT competition, so it's a highly uh, competitive solver. And it's important to note that the solver changes were as minimal as possible. So we actually maintain the VSEEDS version of KISAT, which is called uh, eVSEEDS for exponential VSEEDS. And we also maintain the restart policy in which uh, KISAT alternates between two modes. The first mode is called the stable mode in which uh, VSEEDS is used and which targets the um, uh, satisfiable uh, instances. And the second mode is called uh, the focused mode and uh, the uh, heuristic called variable move to the front is used. It's a simple heuristic where the variables involved in the conflict are um, uh, moved to the front of the queue, of the decision queue, and this mode targets unsatisfiable uh, instances. So we uh, wanted to evaluate the strategies, which are um, uh, obviously implemented in the stable mode, uh, without influencing the uh, components of the solver. Here we have the results in terms of solved instances on the last three SAT uh, competitions or races, and as well as the results on the whole benchmark. So it's important to note that the choice of restarts as a means to combine VSEEDS and CHP was not arbitrary. So in fact, we tested another strategy uh, called uh, RDD for random uh, indecisions, which chooses a heuristic among VSEEDS and CHP at random with uh, equal probabilities uh, in each decision. So the results for these two random strategies are represented uh, on the table in third and fourth column. And as it turned out, RD, RDR uh, outperformed RDD with uh, 17 additional instances uh, in its favor and also a better uh, solving time. So now that we've est established the significance of restarts in uh, combining receipts and CHP, let's evaluate the other strategies. Uh, as the best uh, results are marked in bold, uh, clearly here MOS is um, or achieves the best results um, and uh, it not only outperforms VSEEDS and CHP but also all the other strategies. Uh, in fact, uh, it solves 37 additional instances um, uh, which amounts to 4.8% uh, compared to the best heuristic, which is uh, VSEEDS in this case, and it achieves 99% of the uh, performance of the VPS, which is quite impressive. Uh, as for uh, UCB1 and RR, they also achieve remarkable results, which are slightly in favor of uh, UCB1, whereas SS is uh, the worst strategy overall. Now, if you take a look at the resolution time, again, uh, most stands out as the uh, best heuristic. In fact, it achieves 6.1% uh, uh, gain in solving time. Uh, while UCB1 and RR achieve uh, respectively 5.7% uh, and 5.2% uh, gain, and uh, in last place we have uh, SS which achieves 1.7 gain only. Surprisingly, all the uh, strategies that we tested, including the random ones, outperformed the seeds and CHP, but the uh, gain was mainly in satisfiable instances. 
In terms of unsatisfiable ones, the strategies remained comparable to visits and CHP, um, but this is expected since um, uh, the diversification is uh, known to be well uh, suited, more well suited to SAT instances, and also uh, recall that the strategies were implemented in the stable mode, which target uh, SAT instances. Uh, in fact, when we look uh, at uh, the solving time um, for for satisfiable instances, we remark that the uh, gap uh, between the top three strategies and uh, the heuristics becomes uh, much larger. And um, if you do the same for unsatisfiable instances, we uh, remark that the gap narrows and uh, SS becomes the best strategy uh, here overall, uh, so it's comparable to visits in this case, uh, whereas MOS remains interesting, in, interesting for instances with the solving time exceeding uh, 4000 seconds. Finally, we submitted our uh, solver KISAT map uh, to the uh, SAT competition 2021. So, uh, in this uh, submitted version, uh, we implemented UCB1, the UCB1 strategy, on top of KISAT, and the solver managed to solve um, 296 instances with the same amount of SAT and SAT instances, over 400 in total, and it placed first in uh, three different tracks, the main track, the main SAT track, and the no limit track. Uh, so, the results and sort source code are available on uh, the SAT competition website and we also have further uh, details uh, on uh, these different strategies and further discussions in the paper so uh, I invite you to check it for uh, further details. To conclude, we showed that VZs and CHP seemed highly compatible and that their combination through restarts can bring substantial gain to SAT solving. We also showed that the upper confidence power strategies that we tested achieved the best results and in particular most which achieved remarkable results in terms of uh, solved instances and solving time. Uh, as perspective works, since uh, uh, solver environments are becoming more and more complex, it would be uh, interesting to refine the reward function by relying on a combination of different criteria. It would be also interesting to uh, study whether uh, refining a single heuristic by adaptively choosing its parameters at each restart uh, can be uh, adapted to SAT and uh, combined with uh, this kind of um, uh, research. And it would also be interesting to improve other uh, SAT components with uh, MAP frameworks. Thank you for your attention.